Hola, soy uh, Claudia Quineche. Sabah al khair, kifkun, kilkun. Ana Osama Hamza. Hola, me llamo Laura Giraldo. Soy de Lima, Perú. Ana de Lebanon. Y soy de Colombia. And I'm currently doing my master studies here in Grenoble Pagora, Master of Biorefinery and Biomaterials. What I like most about the French life is uh, the cheese, the pan au chocolat, <laughs> the croissants, and uh, the cheap wine also. <laughs> what I like uh, the least is the French administration. It's quite complicated, but once uh, you go through it, you can really have a lot of benefits like the health insurance, the help for your lodging, also for students. Here in the city itself, you can have uh, reduced prices in the transportation, but you have to do all the administration, so. <laughs> The French style fits so much the Lebanese style. We share similar culture more or less. And what is good about Grenoble, it's the green part of Grenoble, which you could just in a few steps be in the mountains, visit the Bastille, and have a good time enjoying the environment and how green things are. So this is one of the best things that I find here in Grenoble. And I'm pretty sure that also in France, it's the same situation. During my French experience, what I have liked the most is um, the opportunity of practicing my French. I studied uh, French in Colombia, so this has been a good uh, opportunity to improve in my French. Also, learning from a different culture, enjoying all the beautiful places, the food is awesome, uh, you have a lot of varieties, and the advantages for young people are incredible, so you can profit from many discounts, uh, the cultural ambience in here in France it's really really important and especially here in Grenoble as a person who loves nature you have a, a lot of green spaces parks and the mountains are just amazing and the bad things about France I think it might be the smoking yeah the smoking culture it's not something that I'm used to but it's still the part of their uh, habitudes so it's understandable I think that the student life it's quite nice. I my, myself, I think I'm just discovering at this point of uh, my master's studies. But the uh, life in the in the campus seems to be really nice, like uh, the terrace in the tram station, the restaurant being open. Grenoble itself offers a lot of uh, things to do around, like going to the mountains and even outside, like in the city center or out in the city. I see a lot of young people, so that's really nice to see that Grenoble is a young city for young students. I think the main differences uh, while studying, it was the number of courses. Usually for one semester, I have like five or six courses, but here we had like uh, 16, I think. I also believe it because it was a one year program, so it was quite intense. Also the exams and the projects were different during the semester in my home country. We used to have a seminar and a final project and three exams, main one, the midterm and the final. In here, all conveys into one single final exam, which is, is very good because you don't have to study that hard, but in some kind of way it makes you uh, have a little bit more of pressure due to only having one opportunity to pass the class. So mainly what I studied uh, back in Lebanon, it's chemical and petrochemical engineering. It is the process where, where we use petroleum and fossil fuel in order to produce chemical-based uh, materials. And here in EMP Grenoble, we're using the same kind of approach, but using biomass in a sustainable way in order to achieve more greener and uh, have uh, more less economical impact on the universe and on Earth. And this is the main difference that I realized. Also another difference might be uh, well, the language, <laughs> that it was given in English, so it's quite international. Another difference implies the independence of your learning, because uh, sometimes in Colombia, we used to have a lot of the tools to enjoy the class, to see the class, but in here, it also takes that component of um, independent study. So it's necessary to also do your part, to investigate more, to research more, so that makes you learn more at the end. 
Also, another difference could be like uh, the school here, Pagora, INP itself, it's, I, I believe it's a small school. Uh, compared to my university, yes it is, mine was uh, quite a big uh, a school and the campus was closed, but this one is open, for example. So that's also really nice and to have open spaces. Like anecdote, when you try to practice your French, it's so complicated because of the pronunciation. These days I was in the bakery and I asked for a baguette and I don't know if my mispronunciation was that bad, but the lady ended up giving me three. I was like, une baguette, and she was like, okay, avec ceci, and I was like, I didn't understand what was that in the moment, so I said, yeah, and she gave me three. And I was like, I didn't know how to defend myself of saying, I don't want three baguettes, I just only want one. But uh, yes, I end up with three lobs of bread. <laughs>